Hi, this is Carl again from Lingua Genesis, and what I'm going to talk to you about in this particular video is a means by which you can learn vocabulary on the basis of intonation. Now, this is an exercise which I've used with students, particularly in a one to one learning situation for both German, Spanish, and English as a foreign language, and it deals with the way in which words, isolated words and phrases can be learned on the basis of intonation and the way in which they are said. Now shortly I'll give you an example of this and what I will do is to use the words and phrases in German. And what you will be able to see is that the way in which the words and phrases uh, are said in German is very similar to the way in which they would also be given in English. And so that acts as a trigger and uh, a memory aid as regards what the meanings in English of the words are. So I'll, I'll, what I will do now is I'll give you a sample of the, the words in question and I'll take maybe no more than about eight and if you do know the words in English then obviously uh, that's good um, but what I will do is I will read the words and phrases in German and then I will give you time to see if you know what they are in English I will then tell you what they are in English um, and then what, what I will do is I'll slowly build up the uh, number of words or phrases under discussion uh, and then as I said we'll, we'll get up to between 8 and 10 phrases in total Begin, beginning with choose bye oh yeah oh dear be bitter Come again, please. Sorry, pardon. Now, nah, yeah. Oh, yes. I'll be bitter. But please. Also. Anyway, right then. Bitter schön. You're welcome. Bitter schön. Next, please. So. Bitter schön. There you are. I can teach neat. Actually, no. Not really. Early? Really? Honestly? So there we have an example of, well, I've given you there nine interjections, and none of the words or phrases on this list are allowed to contain any verbs. So they're basically either one, two, maybe three and sometimes four word interjections which you're able to remember on the basis of the way in which they're pronounced in both German and English. So note the intonation uh, between choose and bye and between oh yeah and oh dear. And then with be bitter, come again please, not only do you have the, uh, the intonation but also you have the uh, the body language, the frown, to tell you that uh, it quite possibly means, as it actually does, come again please, excuse me, sorry, pardon. And what would happen in the classroom situation is that I would give the word in German or Spanish, the learner would then try to guess the meaning in English without writing anything down, trying to visualize the spelling if necessary, and then I would give the meaning in English. And then slowly but surely the number of words or phrases would be built up. So I would go from giving one word to two words, revising those two words, adding another two words to bring the total to four, revising those four words, introducing a further two to bring the total to six, maybe another two, eight, another two, ten, and continuing like that. And at every interval during which the words discussed so far are being revised, uh, there would not only be an opportunity for the learner to translate them from English into German, but also from German back into English. And as I say, what I would do is, within the space of between 45 minutes and one hour, is to introduce and incorporate into the exercise as many as between 20 and 25 words or phrases, interjections, which, as I say, work on the basis of intonation. Uh, if need be, the learners can guess what the meanings are in English. Many of them will probably, or some of them will probably be already known to the learner, 
um, depending on how long he or she has studied the foreign language in the past. Um, but as I said, this is a, a useful technique whereby you can acquire vocabulary um, through the through concentration on very short phrases uh, between one and let's say four words, but usually between one and two words. Um, and, and I suppose these are the kinds of you know the types of vocabulary which people would use to try and sustain a conversation even if their level of German was still at a basic level. If you do have any questions about this particular technique, then do feel free to leave a message or send an email.